Hey YouTube, it's just me again, and I'm gonna do a kind of a weird video today. I'll show you guys how to dissolve concrete, and basically all you gotta do, you just gotta get some muriatic acid, also known as hydrochloric acid. You can pick it up at uh, Lowe's, Home Depot, Ace, I think Walmart as well. It's just a basic pool supply. Just gotta be really careful when you open this. It's a uh, strong acid, so make sure not to inhale it. I'm just gonna pour some into here. Pour some right there. Put the top back on. So you can see there's a little bit of fumes coming out. Always make sure to wear protective gear like gloves. I got some gloves right there, sunglasses, or real laboratory glasses. And. <clears throat> Just gonna get a little piece of concrete, grab it with this. Or actually this one. And I'm just gonna drop it in there. You'll see the reaction almost instant. I don't know how this works, it just does. see the concrete anymore uh, before you can see like a huge chunk in there these are just a regular Tostitos salsa dip jar no special lab equipment or anything so if you want to try this just get a little piece of rock or concrete drop it in some acid hydrochloric muriatic whatever you want to call it pick it up at Lowe's Home Depot Ace Walmart fun little experiment oh and also <clears throat> if you have a penny made after after 1982 I believe and if it's already kind of broken and you can see the inside of it that it's like silverish it's that's a metal called zinc and zinc also dissolves with this acid so here's one I saw a penny that had like a little opening to see the zinc and it just dissolved the zinc completely leaving you with a copper shell See? Uh, let's focus it. It's a little copper shell. That's pretty cool too. Nice little science experiment. And this is almost done fizzing up. You'll know it's done when there's almost no bubbles left. So this is probably almost done. Take it out for a quick second, see how it's going. I think this is all that's left. I'll just wait till it's done fizzing completely. But remember the piece of concrete, it was a pretty big chunk. Almost nothing now.
bubbles are almost all gone. Uh, you can also use this acid to clean copper. If you have a little piece of copper, like copper wiring, for example, here, let me just leave that for a second. If you scrap copper and then take it to a scrapyard to get money or anything, like I do, for example, I had like this scraps of wire, wire, uh, copper wire, right? It was completely black from copper oxide, which is basically rust that forms on uh, copper after it hits oxygen for a long period of time, kind of like the Statue of Liberty has. So you just leave that in uh, acid for about a minute, not even. It'll make it real clean. Alright, so the bubbling's almost completely done. Kind of impatient, so I'm just going to put on my glove real quick. And I am going to dump this over, over, just an empty little thing of, damn, that concrete was already there, that one was too. And I'm just going to pour this right here, see if anything comes out. All liquid. The rest is basically residue, just like, ugh, disgusting gunk. Not much. So if you ever have to dissolve any big piece of concrete, just pour some muriatic acid over it. Or if you want to get rid of pieces in specific, that's the way to do it. Alright guys, comment, like, and subscribe. Make sure to show other um, friends this cool video. I found it pretty interesting when I found out muriatic acid can do this. And hey, if you guys like Beats by Dr. Dre, that's my um, main thing that I do here on YouTube. I get fake beats and I do reviews on them. Why would you buy headphones for $200 when they're alright, when you can buy them for around 50 maybe less? If you want to find out how, just check out my other videos. Comment, like, subscribe, and you guys have a great day. Peace.